hello 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 so it's been a hot minute since i vlogged i think it's been two weeks since we went to vero and i think that's the last thing i vlogged i am at um vista right now before work i work at six it's like 2 10 right now and they have the all things fall festival going on here at the vista way pavilion so that is what i am headed to i was able to get a spot right here by it um i don't know if that's because people don't usually drive here it feels cooler yesterday felt amazing it was like actually cool it was great and then today it was cool and now like i think it's a little toasty natalie was cold though but i have on long sleeves so maybe that's why i'm toasty so i'm gonna do this if i have any time then i'm gonna go get casey's before work um just pop up and get some food these kids i accidentally came in the back way so that means i need to exit and then re-enter the right way so that they can like scan something oops 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 also, I think maybe Chip and Dale will be here. I'm just gonna go back out the exit. Now I'm in the right entrance. I wanna get a photo of that spot. They have ceramic pumpkins to paint, but they may be all gone by the time I actually get back in there. We'll see. And there's line dancing, and then in here you get food, you meet Chip and Dale. So I accidentally made a hidden Mickey, but there's a cinnamon and a pumpkin donut hole. Caramel dip with a, an apple. I got pretzels and goldfish. I got three pieces of candy corn so I have a whole backpack bag full of it. Um, and then I got one of these lollipops and some chips and some apple cider. What I did not realize is you have to register in advance for the pumpkin painting. So she said they'll make an announcement in the last hour, but I'm not staying that long. So it doesn't matter. I already carved pumpkins. I don't really care to paint a ceramic one. And then they have someone here to teach them the cotton eye joe. I'm going to get a photo of this, mayhaps with this. And then I'm going to go meet Chip and Dale, and then I'll leave. Uh, we've been waiting here for like 25 minutes. So there's still another 7 till they're supposed to be starting. Um, but I'm the first one in line. Just waiting. So I can get a quick picture and leave. So I was gonna go to the parks, but I'm really tired. So I'm gonna try Puerto Tropical and go home for a bit before work. So the fall festival ended up being okay. The snacks were decent and I liked meeting Chip and Dale. And I didn't have to wait a super long time to meet them. Um, but it wasn't super worth it, especially cause I didn't realize you had to register in advance to paint the pumpkins, but I've already carved a pumpkin when I went to see Aaron. So I don't even think I mentioned that in here. I went to go see Aaron, my boyfriend in Auburn. Um, and like experience fault, so this light is like <laughs> really bright and hot. I'm headed home right now because I was gonna go to the parks, but I'm really tired. <laughs> and I know that sounds so lame. I remember watching people's YouTube videos. I watched so many DCP vloggers before starting my program. And like all these years I was applying and when people would be like, oh, I'm too tired to go to the parks. And I was like, oh, that's never gonna be me. I'm never gonna be too tired to go to the parks. I'm here and I'm just tired <laughs> and I just don't want to go to the parks right now. I mean like I want to be there but I want to be there with more energy than I currently have and more time than I would have before work. I have tomorrow and the next day off so I'm like bargaining with myself like okay you can go rest now as long as you go tomorrow. Tomorrow's also a party night and so I can't like stay as late. I don't know. Anyways I'm gonna get to the parks. I want to experience more fall stuff. I still like I realize everyone's posting a picture you know the castle and then the Mickey pumpkin wreath like on the post and like has that in the distance. Well I still haven't gotten a photo like that. I haven't taken photos of like anything. So I need to go take some photos, maybe ride some rides and go beyond just Main Street. Because if I was going to go right now, it would end up being like it always is when I go. Which is I pop up, I get Casey's, I shop in the Emporium and I go back down. <laughs> like I just, I'm not doing a lot. So I don't know. Anyhow, I'm uh, going to get some food here. But today is when all the extension offers are going out for the college program. I did not apply for an extension. I don't know if I would have gotten it or not, probably, because I know a lot of people get extensions, especially in like merchandise. But I just, I, I have to graduate. I have an internship lined up in Nashville for the summer that is expecting me to be graduated when I start the internship. And I also just, I've wanted to do this program for so many years, and I'm so glad I've done it. But when it's over, I feel like it's time for it to be over. I always thought I was going to be the person who was like, I just want to move here and then I'm going to never want to leave. It's going to be so hard to tear me away. I'm going to want to come back as soon as possible. I hate to say it, but I just don't feel that way anymore. I'm just, I can't imagine staying here past January 3rd. I, I want to come visit. I'm thankful for the experience, but when it's over, 
it, it's when it's meant to be over for me. I know a lot of people are extending and I'm seeing everyone's post today, so it's still a little difficult because like I always thought I would want to extend. Um, and it just, I couldn't this time. And it's probably good that I couldn't because otherwise I probably still would have applied. And I'm, I don't know, the spring's different, you know, it's not the holidays. It's hard to say whether I would enjoy extending or not. <laughs> I love my roommates to death. Kate and Stephanie and I, I'm so glad we had that seminar together so we had the same day off that we could go do these staycations and stuff so we could like hang out a bunch. I really bonded with them. They were both gone most of the past week. Like I left to go see Aaron and Kate's boyfriend came to town and Stephanie's family was in town. So I finally saw them the other day and it was like, <sighs> I shouldn't be like getting emotional. It's just been a weird day. <laughs> um... Sorry, I'm having like little breakdowns all the time. I saw them and I was like, guys, it feels like it's been January 4th for forever. So, yeah. If I didn't have Stephanie and Kate on this program, I would probably have self-termed because it's just like, I don't know. I, mean, I could still have other roommates that I liked or something. I don't know. If I didn't have people to hang out with. I'm not saying like your roommates have to be your best friends. I know there's girls from the Emporium that to get together. And I really do like that about the Emporium, um, at least this program. Everyone seems to be like very inclusive. We have a big group chat and it's always, I'm going here with so-and-so, whoever wants to join is welcome to come. I should go hang out with them sometime. It's just always like, when I finally can, I'm either doing something with my roommates or like I'm too tired. So I should go do something with my coworkers at some point um but yeah so there's lots of ways to make friends on the college program and i'm not saying like i don't have friends or whatever but it was just being home alone and not having them to talk to like last night we finally got to be together again and chat and i made halloween cookies because it's cold outside and stuff and it's just so nice to be able to like vent to each other and chat and talk about life and whatnot so that's a really long preface to the fact that i'm gonna go try poke tropical now before i go to work i also need to text natalie and tell her i can give her a ride to work now because i was going to go to the park so now i'm not we have the exact same shift today so six to midnight not bad so it's gonna be a nice six hour shift the park closes at 10 so we're like part register part closing we're here for it folks thanks clean in here it seems also very new i wonder how long this has been here but it smells good and i think i'm gonna get the tropic chop bowl with the yellow rice and veggies and crispy pollo bites and I'm trying to decide between black beans or red beans. There's also, guys, there's a corn casserole so I'm gonna get a large side of that in hopes I like it and then I'll take it home and eat it later too, yay! So guys, I'm gonna go take the trash out and then I'm gonna go to work um, and so is Natalie since I didn't end up going Play Tropical, my review. I was really excited about it at first when I got it. It like looks nice and fresh. The chicken wasn't great. Everything else was pretty good though. I'd try it again, but I'd probably just get like the beans and rice aside. The reason I'm taking the trash out, even though it's not completely full, is it is inspection time. Um, just starting today, so for the next two weeks we have to get our apartment perfectly spotless, which does mean an apartment tour should be coming soon once I cleaned up a bit more um, and fix that. Thank you guys so much for watching.